Jerry Myers, I was just wondering, <coughs> you guys pull my agenda item? I didn't understand what you said. I'm sorry. Did you guys pull my agenda item? As the attorney said, it's in the legal agenda what? item. As our attorney explained to us, it's an illegal agenda item. How is it illegal? Your item's number six three. I don't know. Probably last. Is that the, that's the one about the live scan and yeah. the drug screens? Yes. Yes, it was pulled. Why was it pulled? I asked if it was uh, the council's intent to still discuss it given the fact that it's not legal to pass such a thing, and they pulled it. Okay, it's not legal to pass that because you don't want to? It's not, it's not legal because it's illegal. Oh, like... Right, you can't... Like cannabis was illegal too, but you guys, you, you worked around that, though, right? Yeah, I, I can only speak to this item. I actually wasn't here for the cannabis, but um, this particular thing, uh -huh. that was the research that it showed, and so it was pulled. So it was pulled because it's, it's not illegal to make an ordinance. That's all I was asking for. Ordinance. Like you guys make cannabis an ordinance, right? It, yeah, I can't, right. I can't speak to that, but yes, it was. Why can't you speak to it? Because I wasn't here for that. Well, I, I, can, I can give you my opinion so, about the legality okay. of it, and that was, that was my opinion. Can I, ask, can I ask a couple questions then? That's, that would be up to the mayor. Who thinks it would be a bad idea for that? You obviously, yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, do you care? Believe me, you care. Anybody else think it was a bad idea to have a live scan, drug testing? Marissa, you think it was a bad idea or a good idea? So technically, um, I know you're getting a lot of blank stares and it's probably frustrating, but under citizens' comments, it's your time to address the council and they aren't required to respond. Most of the time they refer you back to staff for questions. But if you're asking me, I will answer you mm -hmm. and tell you that it's my understanding that it's not legal, it's against California law because of privacy issues to have a live scan for a council member or a drug screen for a council member because um, even if we did a live scan on a council member and they came back with, I don't know, 25 misdemeanors, they're still eligible to be a council member in the state of California. And even if we did that live scan, it's not a public record because it's a private document. It's a confidential document. So even if we did a live scan, it would sit with our city clerk and no one else would have access to it. So, I'm, so you say misdemeanors. Now what about felonies? I, it's my understanding that if somebody had was convicted of a felony, they would not be able to register to vote, and then they would not be able to run for city council. So as long as they are allowed to be a registered voter in the state of California, they are allowed to be a council member. So no live can no drug. You can be a heroin addict and be on if, if they're the voted city in council, by the yeah. people, yeah, yeah. or appointed by the council. They could. That don't sound good though. You see what I'm saying? It's it's, it's crap regardless. And you do have a rogue city council member, this man right here. If you have something to say to me on a computer or about me or my family, my mom, anybody, you could say that right now. Or we can, I can wait. We can address that outside. Blank stare. I'm sorry, we're no, not here. No to keyboard. Have, I'm not sorry. We're here for not to have threats. So, oh, I'm that's sorry. Not a I'm not that's, to ask that's you. It's not a threat. You don't have a keyboard, uh, do you? I'm sorry. To, uh,